Hello, Polly the Best for UK here, and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Every day, 6 pm, October 2019, a different MS DOS game from yesteryear on my channel. So, today's game is Speed Haste. So, I've already done the install program, uh, you set it as the normal 220. Uh, IRQ5, DMA5, etc. And uh, yep, so let's start the game. So you just type in speed to launch the game once you have it installed on a hard drive. It's a DOS 4GW protected game, and this is Friendware, Noria Works Entertainment, and guess who? And the fire comes in. Now, as you can see, this is Speed Haste. So this is a game I've never played on before, so uh, this is a new one for me, so uh, let's have a look. We've got a setup, multiplayer, new race, so go, go for setup. Sound options, you can choose various volume, and you've got a jukebox as well. Graphic options, you can choose between shaded or flat polygons. You can choose half detailed floor or just the fully detailed textured walls. And you can choose your resolution. You've got SVJ 640x480 or VGA at 320 for 200 for older systems. So this is 1995. So, uh, yeah, it's just playing the controls and stuff. So uh, let's go for new race. We've got championship single race, practice one player, select race mode and select car model. So you can have Formula 1 or stock. I love stock. Select race build, race for five laps, race against time. I've raced against. Yeah, okay. Just race for one lap because we like to keep the game of day video short. And, uh, yep, so let's go to a single race. I'm not going to bother with the championship because obviously you have to progress through to get to, to various points. But this has a sort of like arcade feel to it by the looks of things. We've got quite a few cities here, courses here, sorry. Racers Edge, the city, Fast Lane, Indiana, Grand Canyon, the Tomahawk, Twin Lakes, No Man's Land. So I've got quite a few tracks to choose from. Uh, we can have a city. Uh, this sort of reminds me of Daytown in a way, on the uh, arcade. So the first three cars have got automatic transmission and the, the other three cars have got manual transmission. So I'm going to be this car right here. Yeah, that's definitely that's similar to Daytona, isn't it? Now, as you can see, this is a, a racer, arcade racer on the PC. First impressions, very good. Can you change your view on it? Okay, so this sort of, sort of, I don't know. One sec, let me just come, come out the race a minute. Okay, I'm just going to have a look at the uh, options again. I just want to see if there's a way of changing the view on it. So if I go to define keys. No, it doesn't seem like there's a way of changing the view. Okay, let's go back to it. So, single race. That's a bit disappointing if you can't change the view. The city again. Not the same car again. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So, we'll go on the game then. So, uh, yep, yeah, this is Speed Haze. Graphics are very uh, typical of a. Uh, mid 90s uh, definitely reminds me of Daytona on the arcade machine or on the Sega Saturn sort of reminds me of Destruction Derby 1 as well I'm not sure if this game come out on other systems I don't know but this is a PC MS DOS right here whoa I'm not sure I like the viewpoint I wish you could have an internal view well done oh, well that puts it like a sweeping view So you can get far away and you can have closer. Oh, 
Yeah, there we go. We have an internal view as well. So it's F2 and F3 to change the views. We can go right inside. Like a sort of dashboard view. It's kind of neat. And you can have an external view like that. So yeah, the graphics are very 32-bit like. It looks like the game uses the uh, CPU for all its rendering work. So we keep going. I'm not sure what the system requirements are for this game. I'm running it, I'm running it on my Duron 750 MHZ machine. Might work on a 486, I don't know. I didn't look at the uh, system requirements beforehand. Anyway, so uh, let's have a look at uh, another track. Won't go through all of them because there's so many of them. We'll try the Grand Canyon right here. And we'll have the flame. Start your Let's start your engines. Three, Music's very nice. One, go. So you can see like the sort of mountains, the cliff sides on the edges of the road and the uh, the mountains in the background on the horizon, very nice. Oh shit! Look, quite a few adverts on the side of the road, just for a bit of in-product placement right here. You can actually see the tyres spinning from behind, which is quite an unusual effect for a racing game. Oh shit! Looks quite polygony. So we keep going. Game over. There we go. Oh, okay. Uh, so I can't fit my uh, user ID in there. Uh, let's try just to see what it looks like with flat polygons. So we've got flat polygons right here. And we'll go for a different track yet again. We shall go for Twin Lakes on this one and the yellow car. So we've got flat polygons now. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. Don't know if that's made a difference or not. You can see it's got quite nice graphics, quite not nice variety to the uh, different track designs. So yeah, that's uh, a quick look at uh, Speed Haste for MS-DOS. A game I've never heard of or played on until now, basically, and uh, yeah, it seems quite good. It, see, it seems it's like it sort of gives a, a sort of like Daytona experience to the PC. Obviously, Daytona itself come out on the PC as well, but uh, yeah, that's uh, Speed Haste. We'll have a look at one more track. Just put anything there. We'll put that back on, uh, no, not that. Are oh, you Boona? Setup, graphics options. We'll have that back as shaded polygons, I think. And, uh, new race. I'm going to try car model as Formula 1 this time. And we'll have a look at championship mod as well. So I need the Formula 1 cars instead. I have the blue steel. As you can see, I'm a Formula One car now. See if the uh, dashboard looks any different with a Formula One car. Yeah, it does. It's more suited to a Formula One car out right here. Oh, this is going a lot faster as well. The Formula One cars are fast, obviously. So there's no visible, visual, visual damage on the game. You're pretty much indestructible to the walls and stuff. Yeah, you can see them are trees and stuff. It's quite nice graphics for 95. Would have looked the part back in the day. And uh, yeah, so that's Speed Haste on the uh, the uh, IBM PC MS-DOS system. And I'm going to give that a, a 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.